What's up guys, it's your Slytherin Girl here and welcome to another Harry Potter video. Just before this video starts, I would like to show you something or something I have added to my room. Because I've, as you have noticed, my room is quite pink and nothing to do with Harry Potter really. Which has quite annoyed me ever since I started this channel. So, I have recently added one thing to do with Harry Potter, which... The main annoying thing is my dad hasn't got a clue what it's about. So, this is my new addition. I have added a new Marauders map cover poster. Obviously with the top saying Mears, Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs. A.K.A. Lupin, Peter Pettigrew, James and Sirius. With, of course, the logo on the front. But, if any of you watching this video knows anything to do with Harry Potter as in shops wise or anywhere that sells decorations such as posters, wands, please put it in the comment section because it really does help me out. Because it would be really nice to have a bedroom like the YouTuber or my favourite wizarding YouTuber, The Bakey, who is another fellow Slytherin. She is my favourite, as I said, wizarding YouTuber. You should really check her out. And her bedroom, if anyone has seen her, is an absolute catastrophe of Harry Potter, which is probably the greatest thing I've ever seen. So, yeah. Go follow her. Now, back to the actual video. As you all know, well, I hope you all know, I am a pure blood Slytherin. Full of ambition, a bit sly, cunning, a Slytherin. Everything a Slytherin is. But just between you and me, my boyfriend's a Gryffindor. But no one minds that. So, the only issue is, is some of my friends don't believe me when I say that I am a pure blood Slytherin. I have all the traits of being a Slytherin, yet they don't believe me. And this is what I don't understand, because also, between you and me again, I wouldn't mind killing a couple of Hufflepuffs. Don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> yeah, so, in this video, just to prove that I am, once again, a Slytherin, I was going to take the Sorting Hat Quiz. As I have taken on Pottermore, and also many times, and I get Slytherin all the time. I am completely honest, but yet my friends still don't believe me. So, if I actually take the quiz, then I hope they believe me. And this is what I also don't understand. The friend who doesn't believe me is a Hufflepuff. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know why we're friends just how it goes. So, before further ado, let's get started on the quiz. Question 1. You come to a fork in the road. How do you decide which path you head down? 1. No worries, I brought a map. Or oh, the Marauders map. 2. I ask my best friend for their advice. No. Three, I flip a galleon, or in muggle terms, a pound. Or, well, five pound, actually. But it's a coin for all those muggles out there to decide. Or, four, I grab a pass buyer and demand they tell me which path to choose. I would probably do that. I just really don't care. I will demand they tell me which path to go down. So... I am going to pick the bottom one. Question two. Left or right? Now, most people take the right path, but every single time I've done that, it's wrong because everyone say, likes the right path. So, I would go down the left. Or, unless it means left or right-handed, which I am right-handed. So, depending on what it means depends on what I choose, but if it means path-wise, do you rather left or right, I have learnt the hard way that I now always go left. 
so I will choose left. Question 3. Your friend has a problem. All my friends are problems. They're being picked on. What do you do? 1. Rush in without thinking and defend them. Probably. Definitely. I do that all the time. 2. Quickly formulate a brilliant plan to help them. No one does that. 3. Consider carefully. Revenge will be ours. I know where this is going. Or 4. Run and get a teacher. They'll be able to help more than you. Excuse me. F that. Probably consider carefully. Revenge will be ours. 100%. The death, the pain, the blood. Let's move on. Question four, mountain or beach? I have been on both. <laughs> For anyone who has ever been a place called Stanley Head, I have climbed a place called Thor's Cave, which is a really tall mountain. But would I rather the beach or the mountain? I would probably prefer the beach, mainly to lie down all day in the sun or jump in the waves. Comment what you, comment what all you guys would think in the comments below for this one. I would like to know. Question five: Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, or being ignored? Well, considering I'm ignored on a daily basis, I think that one, because that really, really does annoy me. Boredom, I'm never bored. That's what YouTube's for. Be honest, that's what YouTube's for. You're bored, go on YouTube. Loneliness, I'm lonely. I'm so lonely. I'm kidding, I have a boyfriend. Does that make us both lonely? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Forget about what I just said. <laughs> so, being ignored probably, because that really does tick me off. Question six. Where do you prefer to spend a year studying? Hawaii. Everyone loves Hawaii. No. Everyone, probably but me. Nah. Australia. <clears throat> Australia. So wild. I'm so sorry for that bad accent. Please let me get no hate comments for that. Rome, full of history and excellent food. Or New York, of course. You can do whatever in the city. Definitely. Every one of my friends knows how I am with cities and I love them. So New York. Question seven. How would you defeat a giant? Hagrid wise, because he is part giant. <laughs> no, I'm guessing it means a proper giant. Glad it doesn't mean a troll. Troll in the dungeon! What do I know? Okay, that was random. So, next question. Oh, sorry, how do you defeat a giant? Hmm. One. Attempt to confuse him. Two. I will be right back with you. I'm so sorry for the interruption, but it looks like we have a special guest with us. What's that? <laughs> Who, at the moment, has a piece of chewing gum in his mouth. Hatton. Hello. <laughs> just Hatton. I wonder who you are. <laughs> I'm just eating my Doritos. While he eats his, his Doritos, <laughs> let's move on with the quiz. Where was I? Oh, yes. How would you defeat a giant? Number one, attempt to confuse him. They get confused on a daily basis anyway. Ignore the boy blowing the bubble gum in the background, please. <laughs> Not really background, focus I'm all on, front. Focus on this. I'm only in the front. <laughs> oh, also, his channel is... MV1219. Follow him, because it 
would help him out. I've lost something, you! Be quiet. <laughs> no. Back to the question. Two, attempt to narrate with him. Why? Who would do that? Who would honestly talk to Negotiate. a giant? Negotiate. Shut up. Who would honestly talk to a giant? Uh, One, it wouldn't understand you, and you wouldn't understand it. Challenge him to a duel. I would do that because I would love to see a giant pick up a wand <laughs> and use it. How? <laughs> You'd have to grab a tree. Can troll speak English? Uh, troll? Can giants speak English other than Hagrid? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Are they like trolls? In the dungeon. Trolls in the dungeon. I've already done it. Oh. <laughs> I know. Right. I've already done it. <laughs> Oh, I've already done it. Oh, and also, guys, fellow Slytherin. Oh. Am I right? Literally on my right. <laughs> One sec. No, there's no trolls in dungeon. Are Not on the map, at least. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely challenge him to a duel because I would love to see a giant pick up a wand and use it as bad as Hagrid. He doesn't even have a wand, he, he has an, an umbrella! umbrella. He's basically Mary Poppins. Basically. <laughs> Am I the only one that probably say that they're the same person type thing? Basically, yes. Your head's on the corner of the screen. Would you like to I move know. in or out? <laughs> in. Question Cover eight. Cover the house. Cover the house. There it is. Ignore the boy who's on my right. Or to you, is it on my left? <laughs> um, question eight. Which landscape love you most? And no, that is not my English. That is literally what the question says. It says, which landscape love you most? <laughs> A.K.A. which landscape do, do I rather? you love the most? One, a sunny hill, all grass. No. <laughs> a dense forest. Probably. Closer. An ancient sil civilization town. Finally, mm. you can pronounce. Put hashtag bad grammar in the comments. You dare. <laughs> Whoever does that, I am suing you. Uh, I just had dares. to because of that question. I hate you so much. Which one's Dave you love most? If you, <laughs> if you want to see more of him in my videos, click the thumbs up. <laughs> and please subscribe. And if you don't like anyway, but don't subscribe. Yeah, if you ever get subscribers when I'm here. So not true. I swear, if I hit twelve <laughs> subscribers because of this video, I'm killing you. <laughs> what? Just because I was right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no one can be right other than me. Does he was not to lie, baby. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Crazy even using cl cl clothes. <laughs> quotes. Quotes. Oh quotes. Oh, I do have my grammar, don't I? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can do that for you. Yeah. I can kill you for you. I could kill you for you. <laughs> no, it's not just bad pronunciation. No, how can, I, how can I pronounce pronunciation? Is the question. <laughs> oh god. Uh, or a city. I would probably go for the dense forest, personally, for the sole reason that I would see my master in there. Right. Put in the comments. Unicorn. Yeah, but true. <laughs> what we drink on a daily basis, unicorn blood. It tastes quite delicious in the summertime. Mm. It Winter, not as much. Not as much. Well, that's probably because it doesn't eat as much grass. No. Also, just saying, we don't kill them. We just drink half their blood, let them free, exactly. and then kill. Then almost kill. Them. Exactly. So no hate in the comments, please. Also in the comments, put hashtag VA. Which, if you don't know, stands for Voldemort's, Voldemort's army. army. So, like the DA is Dumbledore's. Everyone knows DA stands for Dumbledore's. Any <laughs> DAs out there? Kill yourself. Watch out. We're coming. These fellow Slytherins, or soon to be Slytherin, is coming to get you. Hi, <laughs> you're doing the test. Online. What did you think I was doing the moment you came in? Reading out random questions from my phone? Yeah, <laughs> basically. I wasn't here for the beginning. You sent over. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
back to the video guys so like i said i would go for the dense forest to meet my master who you don't know is you know who he who should not be named but i'm gonna name him anyway Voldemort. You don't say that name <laughs> <laughs> that's absurd and that hurt <laughs> that's absurd you're absurd say that to my face you're absurd that's absurd I, re that. I reckon you go watch the Harry Potter musicals, Harry Potter sequel too, if you don't understand that. <laughs> A-V-P-S. No, wait. A-V-S-P. This is going nowhere. <laughs> no, I had it correct the first time. Okay. A-V-P-S. <laughs> okay, a dense forest. <laughs> Question nine. <laughs> what do you like most of studying in Hogwarts? This is easy. And so, yeah. <laughs> One, hidden passages and chambers. Maybe a secret chamber, perhaps. Yeah. I'm so sorry, that was a bad pun. Mm -hmm. Friendship. Who the F wants to study friendship? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> Any Hufflepuffs out there? You're gonna die. You're dead. You are made to kill you. We serve to kill you. Actually. What's his name? Is it Wormtail? Yes, Wormtail. Wormtail will serve to kill Cedric. Oh yeah, he was. And then a Gryffindor hand. killing a Hufflepuff. Literally. Hand off. Yes. Uh, defense against the dark arts. Correct. Yes, correct. <laughs> Quidditch, probably second. Oh, actually, actually, am I? Are you a Quidditch or? Mm. Well, actually, hold on. It depends what what it means when it says defense against the dark arts. Doesn't mean the unbreakable exa exactly. curse. No, 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 no listen, no listen, no listen. Because the they say that that classroom and that job is haunted and cursed. Because let me think: the first teacher died, the second teacher had their memory wiped, the third first teacher, teacher is a werewolf who got practically expelled from his job, the fourth, fourth teacher one. was locked in a chest for nine months, the fifth one turned out to be an absolute bitch. <laughs> Umbridge. Umbridge. By the way, I hope none of you there likes Umbridge. She's Umbridge. <laughs> and he's Schlongbottom. Again, AVPS. Mm hmm. I do really suggest you and go the watch one, the sequel. And the sixth one died in the end. Exactly. The sixth one eventually died. Well, the sixth and seventh Wait. one died. Wait. Who's taking his job now? Hold on. Who's taking Snape's job now? Exactly. Wait, no, we will be talking about this hopefully tomorrow on Theory, Theory Thursdays, Thursdays that I will usually actually probably do with him. Yeah, maybe because I have done series. Yeah, that I also, I'm the one who brought you into the one yesterday, uh, two days ago. Okay, so she started a theory and then I ended up with three L more With three theories. more theories on top of mine. So we will talk about one of those tomorrow, which will probably be incest. <laughs> Don't ask. It all will be explained tomorrow or the day after. Okay, so I'm going to put yeah. Defense Against the Dark Arts because I'm going to assume it means with Lupin. Lupin or Snape? Yeah, Lupin was Lupin, the Snape. Or, actually, Barty Crouch Jr. was probably in my personal f the favourite. Yeah, Barty Crouch. He learned to go because it's... Exactly. <laughs> Crucio. Imperial. Uh, can't say it. For a minute there, I thought you were going to say Imperimenta. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> yep, I'm going to say Defense Against the Dark Arts if it was with one of those. A second year student accuses you of stealing his wand. The prick. <laughs> Do yep. you, one, try to... My grandma. <laughs> Do you try to rationalise? Why do you think so? Fuck no. I'm not going to bother beeping that out. <laughs> Look at your back. Your friends are with you. Maybe he just wants a, no a new face. <laughs> a that. new face. He'll have a... <laughs> yeah, depending on what house he's in. He won't have a face. Yeah. Stare at him for a few seconds, then walk away ignoring him. Or call for a professor to come and resolve this. Probably stare at him in the real... We have something called the death stare. Oh. Literally, it hurts his eye. Um, it goes pretty much. It's a sign, the sign of the dark mark. Oh my arm hurts. <laughs> He's come back. Oh shit. Yeah. Probably stare at him for a few seconds and walk away, ignoring him. 
None of these is what I would actually do. I would probably punch the dick in the face. Oh my god, you got it! And of course, that was the last question. And of course, bam. It's backwards, but it's Slytherin. It's backwards, but it is Slytherin. Cleverness, ambitious, and shrewdness. Let me there do you it. go, people. No, because it's 20 minutes long. Uh -huh. You can probably do it after this one if you want. Okay, so go follow. M31219. And please subscribe to me. And if I do get one more follower because of him, then I will probably have him in more of my videos. Once again, look forward for tomorrow or the day after that, where I will be doing a Theory Thursday, which we will dis Can discuss you not of theories. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not plan this like most other YouTubers do. I don't. I just learned up the game and play it. A few. <laughs> what? Yeah. He is also, he is a gamer. His intro is worse than mine, so I will advise you on that. That's why. Hey guys, it's MC here. Uh, no, it's not Matt. What the fuck was that? Dad? Hey guys, MC. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> oh, really. there you go. I am 100% a Slytherin, and maybe well, in the next video, before the theory video, before the theory video, we'll probably find out if he is also a proper Slytherin. So, would you want to do that? Yeah, I'd be fine Very, that. very good. <laughs> that about wraps it up for this video. Comment in the comments below, team... Schlangblad. And unfortunately, Team Umbridge, Bridge. which I'm... Shut up. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like... Just put Team VA. If you put, if anyone puts Team DA, I will you. find you. And I will kill you. 100% kill you. I won't just... Who the hell wants to kill someone? Use Crucio instead. <laughs> exactly. A lot of cadavers is way too good for somebody. It kills them instantly. Who wants to do that? Torture them first. It's funny as hell. I know well, you can make them do I whatever might, you want. Exactly. I might. This might sound horrible, but why did I find the funniest scene? And I think it was either the Half Blood Prince or the Order of the Phoenix when Harry was lying on the rolling on the floor in pain because of Bellatrix. I'm not the other one. It was hilarious. It was like he was, he was just going. Ah. <laughs> he looked. He looked like he'd been zapped by a taser. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest scene in the whole thing. But Bellatrix is just so funny. Also, in the comments below, comment your house. So, I just what? would really want to know. Everyone who watched this video, comment down below. Take the quiz and put in your house. Because I do really want to know. That about wraps it up for this video. If you, again, <laughs> for the third time, if you want to see more of him in my videos, smash the like button or like anyway, please. Because that also does help me out. So once again, I will see all of you Wizarding fans later. Goodbye.